Hello, Irenia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing fine. Good. How was your day? My day was the same thing as always. Because in the morning I worked and in the afternoon I did home chores and I read a little bit. And now I'm here ready for the class. Good. Very good. Nice. What what time do you usually wake up? Mm, at around 7.30 or 8 because my first class is at 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I imagine that you usually leave everything prepared from the previous day. Yes, I prepare my, my classes the day before. Okay. Yes. And, and I see there is a whiteboard behind you. Ah, yes, I, I use it, but not too much because now with the, with the media that we have on hand, it's, it's better if we share the, the screen or different applications or games or worships with the, with the students. So I use it only if I want to explain, for example, math exercises that I need to do it in the moment. So okay. I for oh. that purpose. All right, good, good, nice. All right, Jose, Ellie, and Oscar, welcome back. Thank you. Good Hi, good evening. Good evening. How was your day, Ellie? It's good, teacher. Okay, what about you, Jose? It was pretty good. Nice. And you, Oscar? I slept the whole morning. Oh my goodness. Oh, you wore a graveyard yesterday. Uh-huh. I, I finished my shift at 6 a.m. Okay. And today I, I went to the bed at uh, 9 in the morning. Okay. 9 a.m. and I woke up at, at 1 p.m. All right. All right. Good, good. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so let's begin. Welcome back. Today is October 7th, 2020. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Oh, the last one was um, danger. Oh, danger, right? I yes. Believe. Yes, we were speaking. We were speaking. Uh -huh. Yes, we were speaking about danger different questions and we live in a dangerous country so danger is something common for us you know yeah. so we're always thinking trying to avoid where the danger can be okay any questions or comments before we start no, no? all right so our first activity for today is related with vocabulary. Let me show you this. <laughs> Teacher, a question. Yes. Uh, it is possible to say is related with and is related to. Yes. Both are correct. Both are correct. And that's a very good observation because sometimes uh more than one option in terms of prepositions is possible and the meaning is 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 the same okay but uh, do they have a different context or or no. specific cases to use them no no well if no. if now like there are cases where you can use two different prepositions and the message is exactly the same now, if you separate them and you analyze the functions of this, they're usually different than these ones. But many times they coincide and you can use them in the, in the same sentence. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let me, where is this? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Right here. Okay, can you see the vocabulary? Yes. Okay. Uh, can somebody please read the first two? This year? Additionally. Uh-huh. 
and as a result. Good. Jose, can you read the next two, please? For example, for instance. Good. Erania, can you read the next two? Furthermore, indeed. Okay. Uh, Ellie? Yes. In fact, likewise. Okay. Diana, can you read the next two, please? Nevertheless, on the on the other hand. Okay, and the last two, Eric, can you please read them? Eric, can you hear me? Or anybody volunteer to read the last two? Similarly, therefore. And therefore, okay. Any questions before we go to our first activity about the meaning of this vocabulary? The, we're using this to connect ideas. When you're talking, maybe if you, uh -huh. maybe if you can uh, give us an example of the usage of nevertheless. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless is a synonym of however. Mm. Do you remember the function of however? So however means in embargo. So for example, you said, um, you know, I try to save money every month, nevertheless, I don't have enough. I try mm -hmm. to save money every month. Nevertheless, I never have enough. Yep. Okay, and furthermore? Furthermore, like in addition. Okay. In addition, yes. Thanks. Indeed, teacher. Indeed is a synonym of, of course. Okay. Of course. Mm -hmm. Any others? No? Uh, let me check, let me check. Sure. Uh, furthermore is... Uh, like in addition. In addition. Yes. Indeed is like in fact. Uh, indeed, like in fact, of course, yes. And likewise? Likewise means the same. For example, uh, if I said, Oscar, have a nice day. Instead of you saying you too, you simply say likewise. Okay. In the same form. Okay. Okay, I got it. All right. Any other questions or comments? No? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's create our first uh, group of pairs. And here we go. So you're going to be working in pairs, discussing the function of each one. Only discussion. So additionally, we use additionally when you want to add something else or you want to expand your ideas and, and so on. Rocio. Can you hear me, Rocio? Eric. Hello, Vilma. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm good. 
Okay, let me, oh my goodness, I missed that. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to send the image um, to the WhatsApp chat. Give me a second. Okay, okay. How, how was your day? Uh, it was um, relax, relax again. Okay, good. Okay, right there. Okay, so let me assign you. Okay, you will go to room two with Diana and, hold on, room two. Here okay. we go. All right. Okay. Uh huh. It's uh, like a, as a result or consequently or uh -huh. okay or in uh -huh. okay. uh, nevertheless uh, is did you say teacher was the however uh, however however yeah. is uh, yep. sin embargo yep. it, it, when when people use the the expression though okay is that it, sin embargo no uh that is another form to say but pero uh, for example, I can say, Oscar, I want to go to the stadium. Uh -huh. I don't have money, though. I don't have money, though. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, I, and I hear that the people you see at the end at of the it. End. Yes. At the end of the statement. Exactly. Uh -huh. it, it means, yeah, it's another form to say, but. Uh -huh. yep. Okay. So right. I don't have the money, though. It's I don't like have money, a, though. Yeah. It's like a invite me or something like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah. it's used with negative, negative statements. Uh, not necessarily. No. You can say, oh, but you know what? The, the, the neighbor, she's married. He says, I don't care. I like her, though. So it, it doesn't have to be negative. It can okay. be positive. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. The laughing word for the... Relation, relation, the word for, for uh, with the example. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. But tell me, what was the example? This is the example the Diana said. Yes. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. As a result, as a result, I'm not sure how result Okay, we have, we have the scene each work and I don't remember. And some of the answers I have taken them from the from the the WhatsApp group to compare okay. to find if I have a mistake or or a, a typo or something like that. Oh yes. I'm, 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 uh, how do you say, teacher? Estoy al día. Con algo. Updated. Updated. I'm updated. Updated. Yes, I'm updated. Okay. Ah, okay, thank you. Mm. Yes. Update it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It would be really nice. talking about the platform. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. No, I was saying that it would be really nice if 
someone of the support team uh, will be in our in our WhatsApp group in order to hear us when we had a daughter dog. Yeah, and and I think uh, there is someone from there, but I can I can mm -hmm. double check and and see where exactly you guys are having issues with your answers. Which which section? Was, yeah, go ahead. I was uh, telling them that I have trouble finding the right answer in an exercise that talked about the story uh, related to a to a robbery, I think. Uh -huh. And the the exercise that you have to change the verb. And for example, the sentence says like the alarm, and in the parenthesis there's the verb go. And later off. So I tried with the alarm went off, or the alarm uh, goes off, or the alarm have gone off. But uh -huh. it doesn't accept any of those right. options. Okay. Mm -hmm. I tried with all of the tenses. What, what's 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 the section? What section are you talking about, Irenia? Let me see. I think it's section two. The name is what's Before the real you. story? I think. Section two. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to try to find it. I'll, 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 I'll look and I'll, and I'll, and I'll check, I'll double check the answers. Okay, thank you. Yes. And let me see what is the, the, the specific exercise. Okay. Section two, midterm exam. No. No, before the midterm exam, or the section two is only section about three. the midterm exam. Yes. Or maybe it's a section one. Wait, I'm going to check. Okay, alarm. Right. Okay. The internet is not working. Okay, so I will double check and I'll and I'll and I'll verify the answers. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, welcome back. Um, any questions about the vocabulary you guys were discussing? Is all the vocabulary clear? So remember that vocabulary is not only for the platform, it's not only about the program, but it's vocabulary that people use all the time. So try to identify yourself with it and be able to know uh, how to use it and when to use it. Okay, um, so if you don't have any questions, let's go to the speaking section. Uh, let me see this here. Share, close this. And we're gonna be talking about something that unfortunately we experience everywhere. And um, can you see the questions? Yes. All right. What is the topic? About discrimination? Yes, about discrimination. Right. Now, what is the most common type of discrimination here in El Salvador? Wow. Um, most Sexual common. Sexual discrimination. Yeah, the most, well, I mean, there are different types of discrimination. But you which know, one got, do you consider is the most common? I got confused on bullying. Um, I mean, I know what, bu what bullying is, but okay. there's also discrimination and also intolerance. Right. Uh, okay, so... Um, now, discrimination uh -huh. is like when you see someone not uh -huh. exactly in a good way because of Mm -hmm. what he or she looks like or her um, social status, the color of the skin. I mean, there are deep sexual preferences. So there are, there are different reasons why someone could be discriminated, you know? 
So in El Salvador, there are different types of discrimination, right? Yeah. So it, it's not about race because in El Salvador, all of us are, are the same, but it's not about race. So uh, that's gonna be your, your discussion. So there is one question uh, similar to the one that I'm asking you right now. Okay, uh -huh. you want to say anything about discrimination before you guys start doing the talking? No? No. All right, so let me assign you to working groups. Recreate, recreate, and here we go. Mm -hmm. In your country, in El Salvador. Well, uh, the first one is the, about the, um, the people with the less um, knowledge. Yes. Because uh, many people uh, uh, see bad or treat, give a bad treatment for the people with less uh, degree, a school degree, in, in many occasion, occasion, they are abused for the excess work or a low payment in, in specific uh, works. Uh, that uh, situation, for example, uh, recently I, I, uh, in one conversation with an, one person, uh, this difficult, uh, this person uh, called with me about the minimum salary give in the... Being discriminated. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm, but I forget the name. Mm -hmm. uh, no, another? I think it is the most popular, like the gays, like the rape people discriminate the poor one. Mm -hmm. um, and also, and for example, the people that wear like a black, like a emo. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yes, 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 that is the other discrimination. It's kind of discrimination to the, the kind of, the way they wear the, the cloth. And mm -hmm. Yes, yes, in the bus or something like that. For example, if you are sitting uh, on the bus and someone that looks like a little bit stranger sits next to you, you yeah. are thinking about, mm, I'm not going to talk to him or her because 
you don't feel comfortable with different kind of people. So I think everybody has discriminatory thoughts. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, which countries around the world have shocking levels of discrimination? I, I think the United States is one of the most discriminatory countries and all the, the news or the reports about discrimination are from that country, most of them. Yeah. Yeah. Black people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And but in Spain, people are very discriminate discriminatory. Really? With with a uh, with which with Latin, uh, group of people? With uh, yeah, with, with with Latin people or when they automatically so uh, so if a person is a different country, they are very discriminatory. Yeah, so they 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 discriminate against uh, immigrants. Yeah, a lot. Okay. Yeah, true. So let's see. Are there strong laws in your country to prevent discrimination? I don't think so. Mm, uh -huh. Me neither. I think uh, try to use only M. But I don't okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> I I I. No, so I investigate, 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 investigate the, the form. Teacher, what, what do you say también for also, for also, also. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, you don't remember the word also, <laughs> also yeah. Okay, good. I mean, also, uh, yeah, but because uh, uh, and you were like really good at your job, you have to be working in the restaurants uh, near from I don't know Salvador del Mundo or stuff like that. Uh huh. I think they uh, mm -hmm. it happens to all the the restaurants in 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 Sao Paulo. But I was client because uh, I used to. I used to work in at the Lupango Airport for, for many years, and so so I well, I noticed the difference from this discrimination. Yes, it's a kind of discrimination, and and the sexual preferences discrimination because we as a society we look bad for gay people and, and oh the uh -huh, the people. the LGBT the community. community. Yeah. Community. Uh, well, I, I respect. I I don't I don't bother. With, I mean, I don't bother. I don't have any problem with them. I I respect as soon as they don't <laughs> don't matter with me. Okay. But it's okay. It's okay for me. It's okay. But many people has some some time has ch has changed and they are people. They are persons. Uh, uh, do you Countries discrimin have high levels of discrimination for women. Oh yes. <laughs> Wh which countries? Ma Muslim countries. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Muslim nations they discriminated a lot against women. Yeah. The <laughs> continent Arab Arabia. Arabia. Yes. Yes. yes, Iran. Yes, Iran. I, yeah, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, all them countries are very radical uh, on treating uh, women, you know. Yeah. 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 Yep. Mm -hmm. Which question are you discussing right now? Oh. Number five. 
Uh, now, now far, five. Are there Number strong five. laws in your country to prevent discrimination? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm, the law exists, mm -hmm. but the accomplishment <laughs> the of the law is another way. It's another story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah, there is a law, and but it's just theory. You know, at the end, people don't respect that law that protects people against uh, discrimination. Yeah. Uh -huh. The people. To be discriminatory. Mm. No, I I don't understand really clear this 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 sentence. Which one? Number three? Yes, number three. Like, do you ever think in a way that you feel are discriminating against other people. Mm, it's about if I, if I feel If you this, apply that, if you apply this, it, oh, I, I don't like those people. Uh, no, no, I, I, I try to avoid it, yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what about you, Jose? Well, in... Well, uh, uh, to be honest, and sometimes when we see, uh, for example, uh, 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 people homeless on the street that uh, they requesting money for us, you feel like uh, I don't know, uh, uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortable okay. with. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue with the other. Okay. Okay. Um, uh -huh. you, you, are, you are going to, to have experience, but you don't have to be too old to that job. So I think it's contradictory because they are looking for people that is between 18 and 30 years old, for example, but with 10 years of experience or something like that. Years of experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but uh, in only in environment, in laboral environment happens, I think. Uh, but uh -huh. in the families or in the communities, people respect uh, an old. But not always, because sometimes uh, the, the, the family doesn't include the, the elder people in some activities or, or they don't feel included in in taking uh, responsibility of the house or making choices okay. or something like that because of, of their age. So I think even in the in the family, it, it exists that kind of discrimination. But maybe in the city, because in the... Um, countryside? Uh, I don't... Yeah. In the countryside. Yeah. Okay, in the countryside, uh, uh, they have a lot of respect about elders. Yeah, the city is very different than the countryside, yeah. Yeah, and I know more about the, this part of the country, more than more than city. Okay, where are you from, William? You you live in, in the... I live in San Salvador, but uh, my my job for my job for uh, I always stay in the communities around the, the country, in Santa Ana, in San Sonata, in San Miguel, and uh, Aguachapan, and different right. departments. Yeah, I, I agree with you when yeah. you say that uh, uh, in the countryside, you know, older people they they are more valuable than how they exactly. see it over here in, in the city, you know. But, uh, and also, you know, you see discrimination about age in the working, um, what is the word, environment, you know, like, uh, oh, you're 45, you're 50 years old, you don't qualify. So when it comes to work, that is very common too. Yeah, and as I said, they, when a person have uh, when a man have, for example, 46, 50 years, and he work in the, um, in the, I how to say in the in the campo, in like the field. a in the farm, field. or uh, farms, yeah, yeah, like a farm, yeah, 
uh, uh, people respect them because they uh, they are a, 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 an older person and if he is they're healthy all the time they're healthy right yeah they're healthy. yeah yeah previous generations yeah. you know they were very 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 completely different than than us you know they had a different diet other lifestyle so it was very different yeah exactly good And the sexual discrimination is more, is very common in in the televisions and other social media. Um, <clears throat> for example, in Facebook, the feminist I don't know I don't know what you say feminismo. Yeah, feminism. The feminine, fem, feminine, feminism, is, feminism uh -huh. is attack in in networks. For example, Facebook. Um, for example, the manifest ma, um, manifestations. Manifestation for the organization fem, feminist, feminist. Yeah, feminist organizations. Feminist organization is attack for the network. Right. This True. is a kind of sexual discrimination. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Right. And the other on the other situation in, in the in the jokers in etc. Right. Yeah your 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 sexual preferences are also attacked um, yeah. in all parts of the world. Yeah. Here, China, Brazil, Canada, everywhere you go, uh, if you have different sexual preferences than the others, uh, people will discriminate against you. Yeah. Break. Uh, we have to break this uh, this chain, uh -huh, this chain with with our songs, uh, with our songs. Yeah, we, uh -huh. we can do what we can do with our sons and, and daughters, but uh -huh, we have, as a society we have to to change. For example, yeah. we have to enforce the education. We have to enforce public education. Because for a, a boy that or a, a girl that has access to a, a good education program in a private school, for example, they have this uh, different mindset. But in the public, in, in the public uh, system, uh -huh. if they don't have it, it's true. In in many. Uh, Society is more than another one. Also, yes. in, in different social level or social groups. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is another form to, to notice that this discrimination uh, action for the people. Yes, that's right. For example, I remember when you Start are, are younger, and if you are from the country and go to the university at the city, the many younger people receive that discrimination at the beginning. Yep. Yes. This is another. 
Yeah, even at the stadium, when when I you see, to. yeah, you know, like a, a stadium, you go there to watch people play, but you hear them when some fans are screaming to the others and, and saying some crazy things, you know, because they just they come from a different place. Yes, it's true. Imagine for a error, you go with another place. <laughs> you can be receive a different action. Yeah, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason that I <laughs> don't know anything about the, the laws, yeah, or the discrimination. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe okay. it's fixed in our country, but I think no one apply it. Uh, we were teacher. We were talking about the laws in Salvador, and okay. I, I, was, I was talking with him that I, I, I know any law about the, the discrimination or apoyar, ¿cómo se dice? Apoyo, support, apoyo. support, support. Uh -huh, this, this laws. Uh -huh. Right. I <laughs> yeah, I don't know any of the laws either. I know that they exist, but the question is do they apply them you know because uh -huh. if, if you study you know we have a lot of laws and but people break the law so here they don't they don't respect anything when it comes to discriminating mm -hmm. oh, okay okay <laughs> so it's true yeah okay mm -hmm. let's continue the the ones who have the companies the factories all the the business and they control i think they control the society and there's two only two types of um, of classes here in our country the ones who has the money and the other ones who work so, so I, I think can really mark the low medium medium and high and the space between these uh, sometimes that is exactly or we don't have you mean um I don't know if that's the word, but a medium class or something like that. Middle class, middle class, middle. Ah, middle. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, middle class. Yeah. The other one could be the high class. Yeah, you have the poor, the middle class, and the rich. Okay. okay. But okay. most Salvadorians, we, I include, we're poor. Yeah. Because, you know, like, you will be surprised to see who is considered to be middle class. You know, a middle class person is someone that has lots of properties, has business. They never worry about money. So that's the middle class uh, uh, families or, or people. Now imagine the rich. The yeah. rich are really rich. So, mm -hmm. but, yeah. yeah, we have divisions in Salvadoran society. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Okay. So let's go back to the main okay. session. All right. Any questions or comments about discrimination? No. So if, if you have a friend from Canada, Australia, whatever, and they ask you, what is the most common discrimination in El Salvador? What will be your answer? Yes, Vilma? We was talking with, with Jose about the, the group of people who are gays. Gays? Gay or gay? Yeah, gay, I, I, gay, that are gay. Okay, gay. Uh, the people apply the discrimination with them, and uh, there are laws that that apply <laughs> support, <laughs> support 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 the attitudes or the conduct uh, conduct conduct about this 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 group of person. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah, I agree with you. Have you guys heard about uh, hate crimes? Mm -hmm. Hate crimes. What what is a hate crime? Can somebody explain that? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. When somebody uh. is killed by other people uh, because of mm, discrimination. <laughs> okay, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Discrimination involves the color of your skin, your sexual preferences, your religious beliefs. Just because you are different than them, they attack you, they kill you. And mm -hmm. that's a very serious crime in the United States. If they can prove that you committed a crime because the other person had a sexual, uh, sexual uh, different sexual preference, a different mm -hmm. color of the skin, a different religion, they prosecute you well and they send you to prison for many years. Yes. Many years. They're very strict. Yes. Specific with the with their religions. Right. Yeah. They are very sensitive about religion. Yes. You know, the color of the skin, you know, even the police department, they discriminate against Latinos, blacks, and so it's a little bit more common. But when it comes to religion, they are very sensitive about that. Yes. All right. Any questions or comments about this topic? No. All right, so let's go to our next activity. Let me see if I find this um, document. <laughs> right here. I don't know if you guys have gotten um, to this part of the... interpretation for giving. Okay, so negative and tag questions for giving opinions. Um, let's say you give a hundred dollars to someone. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Birthday, whatever. The following day, they ask you, "Hey, can I borrow twenty dollars?" And then you ask this person, "Que no te dicen ayer." <laughs> how will you make how will you make that question in English? Que no te dicen ayer? Didn't I borrow you? Didn't I give uh, you? Didn't I give you yesterday? A hundred dollars. Exactly. Uh -huh. So remember, you use you're you're making negative questions <laughs> to give your opinion or to confirm something that you suspect that it's true. Imagine you're driving your car and mm -hmm. then you see a couple. And then you say, hey, y ese que no es el vecino de la par. How will you say that one? You see your vecino with another woman that is not his wife. So you ask the person, <laughs> hey, y ese que no es el vecino de la par. How will you make that question? Taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> get, your, get your cell phone ready. <laughs> so how do you make that question? Isn't, isn't it the... Isn't he? Okay. Isn't he the, the neighbor next door? The man, right. The next so when you're making negative questions, is because you want to confirm something that you feel is true, or you want to uh, tell the other person something that you believe. Look at the examples that we have here. It says, use negative questions or tough questions to offer an opinion and invite someone to react. Like Oscar's example, get the phone ready. You know, said, isn't that my neighbor? So get the phone ready. Okay, so look at the first examples. Isn't it weird how some people are always on their cell phones? So you expect the other person to agree with you, right? Doesn't it seem like kids spend too much time in front of the TV? So you expect the other person to agree with you. You say, wouldn't it be great if everyone had a cell phone like that? You expecting the other person's opinion? Shouldn't the government limit the number of sites? You know? And then we go to the tal question form. I get email on my cell phone. That's nice, isn't it? So when you make the tal question, you are expecting the other person to agree with you. Or maybe you want to use that type question as an icebreaker and you want to start a conversation. TV makes kids lazy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Now, do you guys remember how to make tell questions? No, I forget to tell. Okay, for example, if imagine that I see Vilma on the street, but I have never seen Vilma face to face. Mm -hmm. So I said, your name is Vilma, isn't it? Uh -huh. Your name is Vilma, isn't it? So I'm making the tag question, isn't it? So she can confirm and tell me, yes, I'm Vilma. Or no, you got the wrong person. Mm -hmm. So your name is Vilma. Is that mm -hmm. positive or negative? Positive. 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 So the tag question has to be? Negative. 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 Or, negative. right, so you use opposites. Mm -hmm. Or imagine that I see Oscar on the street and I say, your name is not Oscar, is it? Your name is not Oscar, is it? So your name is not Oscar is a negative sentence. The third question has to be yeah. positive, right? Mm -hmm. So if the first part is positive, the third question is negative. Mm -hmm. If the first part is negative, the third question needs to be positive. Got it? Yes. Okay. Yes. How many tenses do we have in English? Mm -hmm. Exactly, 12. We have 12 tenses. We have 12 grammatical tenses. And you can use um, tab questions in different parts of speech. You can include them in the 12 tenses. You can apply them when you're using passive voice, active uh, models in past. So you can apply them in different forms. Okay. Um, what if I say San Miguel is very hot? What is the tag question? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. El pital is not hot. Isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? So the first example was San Miguel is very hot, isn't it? Now the second example, El Pital is not hot, is it? Mm -hmm. So you go positive, negative, or negative, positive. Got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any questions or comments? No. Okay. You see the last two questions says, use the phrase, don't you think? to form negative or tough questions. Don't you think there are too many websites? It's actually dangerous, don't you think? Yes. So don't you think the meaning is literal? They're asking you for, for your opinion. So you are expected to answer and say something back. Questions or comments? So I have a doubt. Yes, uh, uh, Vilma. Uh, I have to give an answer with the same. V good same question. Thing. Good question. So mm -hmm. if, if, if I say, um, La Union is very far from here, isn't mm -hmm. it? So you're expected to answer something related to the question they're asking you. And then you will say, yes, La Unión is very far. It's like three hours from here. Mm -hmm. Now, if this conversation is in Morazan, San Miguel, you'll say, no, it's not that far. It's like one hour from here. Mm -hmm. So yes, you are expected to answer something back according to the question they are making. Yeah, okay. Yes. All right. Any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. So remember the golden rule. If the first part is negative, the third question needs to be positive. If the first part is positive, the third question has to be negative. Any questions before you guys are dismissed? Mm. No? Okay, so we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you for making the space. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.